Our extensive investigations led us to this florist. Can the owner shed any light on the mystery? And I suppose you'd like me to lay on cucumber sandwiches and all. Oh, no. A cup of tea will do us fine. <laughs> Just have to splash out and buy yourself something new, wouldn't you? Yeah. Whee! <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> you get it, Trace. <laughs> <laughs> See, you see why there are no doors on Bloomer Island. And apart from the TARDIS, we don't allow telephones here either. You see, in the real world, a telephone's a pretty harmless sort of gadget, unless you happen to be a member of the royal family. But <laughs> on the set of a television programme, a telephone is more dangerous than a, a ferret on Baywatch. <laughs> Where's this man Metz car? Ah, is this my sherry? Oh, um, Horsley. Well, it'll be for me. Um... <laughs> Trousers. Oh dear, I'm so sorry. I'll call a first aid officer. I do not need the first. <laughs> Hello? Hotel de la Poste? Hello? Hello? What? Telephone. I'm telling you, Joey, I knew she was here in the city the other day. Oh, there's somebody talking on the phone. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's me. <laughs> Is teacher feeling strict today? I will be with you in a few minutes. I'm playing hooky. I've got the telephone number. Well, now, if they can't cope with a door, and they can't cope with a telephone, how on earth do you think they'll manage with all these strange gadgets and devices at the cutting edge of modern technology? You're right. Very badly. What you do is you replace the rear wheels of a conventional roller skate with that unit. There's an automatic clutch in there and a simple hand throttle. That's it to control the speed. Now, if I can get it going again, it's a bit temperamental. Wow! The Japanese... <laughs> This is the star of this year's motor show, the Batmobile. It's never been seen in public before, and <laughs> I can't, can't see a bloody thing. <laughs> Waiting for gravity to separate oil and water obviously isn't ideal. But it'd be far more efficient if you could give gravity a helping hand. to separate oil and water obviously isn't ideal. It'd be far more efficient if it could give gravity a helping hand. Well, the time now to meet the volunteers, so my mask has got to go back on. Not, incidentally, to protect me. This is to protect them. Oh, you'll put it over my eyes. <laughs> Tantalising glimpse into the future. What have we got to look forward to? Two stroke roller skates and a roundabout. But in the world of innovation and invention, you need eyes in the back of your head because it's back there that it's all happening. And you know absolutely nothing about it until it's too late. In this season of pantomime, this is the part of the show where we should be shouting, Behind you! Behind you! How confident are you that you're not going to? get a sore back as a result of this demonstration. I'm very confident. I have done this quite a few times, and it does stop. With 32 tonnes of lorry That's encroaching on you. That's not worried in the slightest. What is it? We shall see. <laughs> by being virtually a monopoly supplier, but almost everybody was affected by the... <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that even if the local authority is given stronger powers, that the, the owners will still be at fault? <laughs> 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 
arrested who are drug addicts. We've also had receivers or handlers of stolen property paying for uh, paying for the proceeds of burglary in, in drugs. So yes, there are indications. <laughs> And what about all that waiting at the start? Did you feel the tension then? I mean, it's all very well for these experienced people, but what about you? Well, um, no, as John said, it was intentional, and um, we meant to be... No, I won't clear the balcony. No, the back um, <laughs> The, um... Ray, if we can just interrupt a moment, obviously you're oh, delighted. Oh, I didn't realise you were doing an interview. Thanks, Peter. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> the rain is pouring, down. You must that be delighted with that. Yes, I think so. Um, obviously... If it keeps like this now, well, that's all very well about. There's a man enjoying looking at his own face, and I'm sure he's watching the golf, unless he's on another program, which would be a bit boring. <laughs> there you are, that's you. Get, come on now, who's that idiot he's looking at? <laughs> no, it's you, sir. Yes, it is you, yes. Give us a ring. Give us a ring. Put up your right hand. That's right. Good. Now, don't do anything else, naughty. Andy King, you get off the pitch. Congratulations. Thank you. Mr. Tebbit's article reflects the views of those Conservative MPs who... Are... 